handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 8th of January 2022. Gonna like the 8th race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the 8th race here in Aqueduct, which is the Safe Florida Sandy Stakes. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for four year olds and upwards. New York Breds here. Very good group of horses. Six horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,400 meters or seven furlongs on the Aqueduct main track. My top selection, I'm going to go take the five horse My Boy Tate. We'll go 5-4-2-3 in the Super Facta. 5-4-2-3 Super. Top selection of five horse My Boy Tate. This eight-year-old gelding here by Boys of Toscanova. Michelle Nevin trains. Eric Consell gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the 5th of December here at Aqueduct. Seven furlongs in the New York Stallion Series. And he finished second by half length Van Lobsta, who really ran a terrific race on the front end. This horse closed up from nowhere had the lead, got caught late, but he still ran a terrific race. Come back here to the safe Florida Sandy, the back to the seven furlong trip. I think he could twist the tables on uh, Lubasta today. Uh, two back, he ran the Lou Reed Memorial at the Finger Lake, six furlongs on the 11th of October. Stepping down in class from his previous races, he won by six, earning a 93 buyer at 30 cents a dollar. It was a very clear, easy, easy victory. Basically a paid workout, an all around good race from there. And then prior to that, the 4th of October at Park, seven furlongs, launch race, 48,000. Sent him to Philadelphia that day. He won by five and three quarter lengths. And he sat, again, he sat back early, slowly moved his way up. And he got the job in hand. A very, very good race. A very good confidence builder. Before that, they ran him in the tail of the cat at Saratoga. One of my favorite races of the Saratoga meeting. You always get these good horses coming from the mid-Atlantic to run in that race. Uh, he was going six furlongs there, facing some decent horses. He finished second by two and three quarter lengths. He held his own out against some tough horses. I thought it was a decent effort for him there. And then the John Morrissey before that at Saratoga on the soft going six and a half. He finished second by two and three quarter lengths and he really you know he, he's just a little bit too late uh, too uh, late but no cigar there uh, but he likes running here in Aqueduct he did run this race last year where he had a very disappointing fourth place finish where I thought he sat a little bit too close I would like to see him close but not as close as he was last year um, something I've noticed since they put the redid the main track in uh, the summer of 2017 I think it was um, and since they went to the winter main track uh, in 27 20, 2018 when it snows this main track gets very slow at times and also you want to sit a little uh, closer aqueduct's known to have a deep track but it gets very very deep with the snow right afterwards six to five we'll use them on the ticket you can't throw out the four horse lobster either uh javier castellano is coming to ride this horse from florida so if he's coming in, in the second week of january or the first saturday in january whatever it is um you know he, he wants to win with the he when he comes to new york with with the cold weather for real philly by mc gary siaka trains most recently in the new york Stallions. He won by a half length off the bench. I thought this horse ran a terrific race from a stock position. Before that, they tried him riding in the New York Derby, where he just never really showed up. The winner, American Revolution, went out next start out, went on to win the um, car mile at the end of the year, so he's a very good horse, probably New York Bread of the Year. But this horse, when he rots, he doesn't do well, but when he sprints like seven furlongs, it's really up his alley. At eight to five, another horse you definitely have to use on your ticket. But to recount my selection for the eighth from Aqueduct, to save Florida Sandy, let's take the five horse My Boy Tate as a top selection. Give kudos to the four horse Lobster. We'll go Five four two three super. Let's go five four in the multi race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.